Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tanishri from Biotechnica and today I have a very important information to share with you all. Since the exam is knocking at the door, I'm sure you all have started with the revision process. Revision, crucial for all the CSI net aspirants, especially before the exam. While preparing for CSI net, you all come across several facts, figures, formulas, pathways, chemical reactions, and to remember a vast amount of information, this vast amount of information, just by reading about it once, it's not possible, as our mind forgets it. So revision is a process of studying or reading again what you have learned. An effective revision helps you remember what you have learned. Not only it helps you what you have learned, but also increases your confidence in the exam as well as reduces stress. So today's session is all about do's and don'ts for last minute CSN attribution. So starting with do's first. The very first point is plan your revision. Planning is very, very important. If you want to complete your revision on time, you should plan your revision. Make a schedule for revision. Find out which, like identify which topic or unit you will study on a particular day. Like for example, you decide to study cell division or enzyme kinetics or flow cytometry on a particular day. So planning, like when you plan, it helps you remain organized and help you achieve your target on time that is to complete your revision on time second point do revise more than one unit a day yes this is very very important see you need to understand that you have to bring variations in your revision process if you want to revise effectively just imagine you are studying enzyme kinetics for the entire day five to six hours on a single day don't you think it will be so boring and so tiring? Therefore, it is very, very important to bring variations in the study and you can do that by revising more than one unit or topic a day. Like for example, you can select a topic from unit one, like enzyme kinetics from unit one, then you can select cell division from unit two and you can select replication from unit three. Then third point, Break revision sessions into different parts. Revision sessions should be divided into three subsessions, each of 20 minutes. Like first session, you can revise the key points related to that particular topic. Like for example, you're revising cell division. So revise the key points related to cell division and then solve the questions based on that topic. And then in the last session, like when you're practicing the questions, if you're not able to answer any question or you answer any question incorrectly, then in that case, in the last session, go through that concept again. Go through the concept based on, like, on which that question is based. And don't forget to take breaks as and when required. As I mentioned to you in the, uh, for the second point also, like you have to revise the like you have to revise more than one unit a day. So if you're revising topic from one unit, take a break and then move on to unit two and then take a break and then start with the revision of the third topic. So taking break is also very much important. Then fourth point, identify best time to revise. Identify, think about which time of the day. Is it morning? Is it afternoon? Or is it evening? Suits you the best. Like in the morning, you can revise the formulas and in the afternoon or evening, you can revise the theoretical concepts. Revise when you are more focused and if you're most focused and vigilant. Fifth point, emphasize on important topics with more weightage from each unit. Why I'm asking you to emphasize on important topics? Because... If you go through previous year question paper trends, the chances of getting a question based on important topics 
is more. We can expect questions on important topics more. And therefore, especially when you are revising just before the exam, you should emphasize on the important topics or topics with more weightage from each unit. Sixth point, keep your revision precise. Please understand that revision doesn't mean going through the textbook line by line. When it comes to revision, you just have to emphasize on important points. You have to emphasize on important formulas related to a topic, diagram or any structure if it is there, pathways and reactions. Now, moving on to the seventh point, that is do test yourself. See, at the end, whatever concepts you have learned, you have to apply them on solving questions, right? At the, at, at the end of the exam, you have to solve questions. So testing yourself is very important. So take mock test. What is the advantage of taking mock test? It will help you analyze your preparation. It will help you analyze your time management and the areas for improvement. And also, it will help you become accustomed to the pressure of the exam. So take the mock test as if you are giving the final exam. And last point, use quick revision tools. Just before the exam, when you are revising, understand it's not the time when you should make notes. We prefer making notes when we are preparing for the exam. But just before the exam, few days or months before the exam, don't waste your time in making notes. You can use, you can take help of the notes that you have already made, or you can take help of quick revision tools, like flashcards, mnemonics, comparative tables, and make sure that if you're referring to any flashcard or mnemonics, either you have made it, from the standard books, referring to standard books, or the ones which are authentic. Don't simply go to any flashcard or mnemonics available on the internet. Okay, And even you can take help of Biotechnica notes or concept notes or Conceptica light, concept uh, wheel, table. And for practicing question, you can take help from AIMnet, CSR net test series or tough net question bank. Now coming to don'ts. What you should not do when you are last minute revising for CSRNet exam. First point, don't take up any new topic at the last moment. Yes, you heard me right. Don't take up any new topic at the last moment because last minute studies, like it is observed, it has been studied that last minute studies are not helpful at all. We usually think that if we study at the last moment, we are able to remember it for, uh, we'll be able to remember it during the exam. No. Last minute studies are not helpful. If you're picking any topic, if you're studying any topic at the last moment, what will happen, especially for CSNet exam, if you're picking any topic, you will not have enough time to study or revise them. And what will happen? You will end up getting stressed or tensed. Right? So avoid studying new topics at the last moment. Second point, don't procrastinate. Don't give yourself any reason not to revise. Understand that the few days before the exam are very, very crucial. And the revision that you do will definitely help you score good marks in CSRNet exam. So don't give yourself any reason not to revise. If there are any distractions, like if your mobile phone is a distraction or laptop or any noise or your surrounding, if there are distractions, just put away all your distractions. Just focus on study. Just focus on revision. Third point, don't overstress yourself. See, at the like before the exam, it's very much important. And even during the exam, it's very much important that you're, you are healthy, right? You are fit. So what happens, some of the students, some of the CSNet aspirants, they take a lot of stress before the exam. And they study continuously and they overstress themselves. 
so you need to understand that if you study continuously and if you overstress yourself it will definitely leads to frustration and exhaustion right so the point is don't overstress yourself take regular breaks and drink plenty of water keep yourself hydrated eat well take proper rest because you have to ensure that your brain can concentrate well when you revise so for that you have to keep yourself hydrated you have to eat well you have to take healthy diet and also you need proper sleep proper rest fourth point ignore what others are studying usually it happens we often compare our preparation with our friends or with our classmates right so if you do so stop doing that just focus on your preparation instead of concentrating on what others are doing just concentrate on your study on your revision don't compare your preparation or your study methods with your friends or classmates because you have to understand everyone has their own way of studying way of learning and revising right so just focus on your preparation whichever method for revision you find suitable follow it either you revise through flow charts or flash cards mnemonics as i told you right so just focus on your preparation fifth point don't study in a noisy place i told you distraction should not be there right so find a nice quiet room proper lighting should be there in the room keep yourself like everything should be organized when you study for when you sit for revision make sure everything you require for revision is there in your study on your study table okay and it's better that you study uh, by sitting on a chair rather than lying on a bed okay so distraction should not be there find a nice quiet room at home or in a local library where you can revise in peace and quiet because at the last moment just before the exam the the days uh, which you are getting they are very very important so you cannot waste your time you cannot uh, uh, keep yourself distracted so study in a proper place don't study in a noisy place and last point don't feel defeated just focus on your revision process be positive be confident about what you have studied so far and most importantly believe in yourself so this is all about do's and don'ts for last minute yes and at revision if you have like if you like this session then do like share and subscribe our channel thank you mm -hmm.